Whereas West Virginia is rich in cultural resources that represent our state's stories, those of our brave sailors and entrepreneurs who rich in vision and hope founded our state, those of our foresters and our farmers who harvested the forest and cultivated the land to provide sustenance for our citizens, stories of our industrialists who provided necessary coal and other materials to fuel our nation's economy, and stories of our students and teachers who engaged in education in local schools and universities, and also stories of our local businesses who encouraged people and encouraged downtown growth even when our nation faced the Great Depression. Whereas the West Virginia Department of Arts, Culture, and History State Historic Preservation Office is charged by the state and federal code with the protection rehabilitation, restoration, and stabilization of historic resources listed on the National Register and annually provide matching state-funded development grants to assist organizations and individuals. Whereas these historic resources are the source of pride and commitment to the local communities and the state's private citizens. And whereas together we recognize that our historic resources are irreplaceable that they're worthy of protection and preservation, and that they continue to be a hallmark of our state's vitality and vigor. And then on behalf of the governor, he says, I therefore, Jim Justice, the governor of the great state of West Virginia, applaud the efforts of the 21 grant recipients. 21 of you are going to get a total of $468,110. Oh, yeah. And I'm